Hi guys, I'm Mr. Martin and I have a new toy for those of you who use a Roland Voice Transformer VT4 and Windows 10 or later. When I bought my VT4, the choice was between the VT3 and the VT4, the VT3 has tree scene memories while the VT4 has 8. The VT3 has 10 effects while the VT4 has only 4. Both also have a reverb slider. However, some of the effects of the VT4, according to the manual, comes in a few variations, which makes the actual number of effects higher. The only drawbacks of the VT4 seem to be that it is more complex to use, and that it seems to have an inferior reverb compared to the VT3. I also compared the MIDI manuals, and saw that the VT3 only had basic MIDI support, while the VT4 could be configured using MIDI system exclusive messages. I also saw that the MIDI manual revealed more variations than the four mentioned in the user manual. So, I bought the VT4. Then, I started to write an application to make it easier to operate the VT4, and to open access to the extra variations and, also to access the underlying parameters that is used to create the variations. The Roland VT4 companion application provides direct access to all 8 scenes, without having to use the manual button to access scene 5 to 8. It has labels that shows the selected variation for each effect, and you can use a right button click to access all 8 variations, not only the 4 you can read about in the manual, for example the deep reverb. When you have selected a variation, you can use a third mouse button, to open a menu to alter the settings for the variation. Please note, that Roland, did not intend for the users to have access to those settings, so they might not react to changes the way you think when you see their respective names. Let's fix the deep reverb. First we turn up the reverb slider. Then we right click on the reverb button, and select the deep reverb variation. Set the first parameter to zero, and the second to almost full. Now we have a reverb that is not inferior to the reverb of the VT3. You may also want, to not, filter out lower and higher frequencies, and can change the default settings for them using the third and fourth slider. However, having a high feedback and no high cut will cause a nasty high pitch feedback. The MIDI manual states a few extra variation names and some parameter names, but not all. So I have entered default names like variation 5 and parameter 6. However, you can change those names as you like using a right click on a menu item, and type in the new name. Finish with enter or cancel with the escape key. If you prefer, you can use all controls on your VT4. The application will follow your changes, but the advantage is of course to use the application to do all your settings. However, there are some settings that involves turning off the power, holding some button, and then turn on the power and do some selection, for example doing a factory reset. That cannot be done from an application. Other system settings are available from a click on the Roland logo type, and the manual is available from a click on the VT4 logo type, or by simply pressing the F1 key. I find it much easier to use my VT4 using the Roland VT4 companion application, and I enjoy having more effects than what the front panel supplies. I hope you enjoy it just as much. You can fetch it from the Microsoft Store. Just search for Roland VT4 or just VT4. Thank you all for listening.